G'day everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of Everspace 2. We are now on episode 19 and in the previous episode we had been completing various side quests and I suspect that the next episode and this one uh, will probably be continuing uh, with our side quest completion spree. But uh, anyway, let's continue where we left off. So we are here at the uh, research station that some researchers in the CETO system asked us to check on because they had stopped uh, receiving any communications from the station and uh, obviously uh, we can tell why because this station is definitely not looking so good. Something has happened we're just not entirely sure what just yet. Uh, my money's on an experiment gone wrong but uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on. What's with those tubes? They contain dead anemones. The only remaining sample still alive is located over there. Over where? Over here. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose we're just going to need to try and open this up, right? But, uh... Okay, there we go. And I suppose we just need to put some energy spheres in these uh, sockets. So, let's do that. And let's hope that we don't really get into trouble in the process, but... scientist can tell you more about it. Everything else here is either dead or long gone. I guess this wraps up our investigation. Alright, well, didn't really explain what happened to the station, but considering the amount of anemones that we had to kill in the previous episode just to sort of get close to opening the doors, uh, I suspect there was some kind of an accident. There is also like a couple of very large uh, what seems to be like mining lasers shooting off in all sorts of directions uh, which has probably caused the station to maybe even collapse on itself but anyway uh, that's all we really need to do in this location if I'm not mistaken although there is a lot more here in the gauntlet uh, than just this station so uh, I'm wondering whether or not we should just do a little bit of investigating here might not hurt right who knows we might be able to find some loot or resources like this all right um, okay that GNB fighter is not looking too good it's probably been fighting outlaws in the area Although I don't really see any right now. Energy sphere socket. So we should be able to open this. Uh, I wonder if there's a, a generator somewhere here for those energy spheres. Otherwise we can always go back and try and get it from the station. If I can actually find the station again. Because that's the problem with these areas, uh, especially with all the the dust clouds. A little bit hard to tell where you are. I'm gonna quickly check on this little asteroid over here. So there seems to be an opening. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this haze is going to do damage to us.
Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we would get damaged if we got too close to these anemones, because they don't really seem to be doing anything. Like, do we have to kill them? I suppose we could kill them just to get some biomass, though. Again, they don't really seem to drop a whole bunch of biomass at all. As soon as I say that, though, of course they drop some, so... Okay, that was a little bit too close for comfort. <laughs> uh, this looks like a container that would open, but doesn't say like uh, sorry, doesn't say that it would. What is going on there? I don't think it'll be a good idea to get too close. And we've got outlaws, we've got some wrecks over here. Yeah, there's uh, just a whole bunch of stuff to do in this area. So here's a uh, another socket. Okay, level 11. We'll be careful here. Uh, Alright, so we are starting to run out of space. Let's just get rid of that for a moment. Right, there must be a way we can get some energy spheres from somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know if we really need to go all the way back to the station though for that, but... Let's just continue to investigate the area some more. Ah, here we go. Grab that. We'll quickly bring that home. Well, sorry, not home. <laughs> bring that back with us. Uh, and we'll quickly drop that off here. Very good. And I suppose I probably do want to just make a little bit of space in the inventory right now. Uh, let's combine our mainframe component. So this has overall better stats, so I'm going to equip that, get rid of the old one. Again, not big fan of like shotgun type weapons, so might get rid of that one. I think that should do it. Let's pick some of this stuff up. Powerful corrosion missiles. Okay, cool. Powerful Jaeger. Uh, again, I think the Jaegers are just like shotguns, right? Uh, actually, no. They're not shotguns. They're exactly the same as what we're currently using here. This one. And this one's a little bit better as well, so that's good. Alright, um... I don't know why we still have the uh, the battle music 
might be a little bit glitched out. Ooh, okay. Maybe maybe this is the reason why. <laughs> We've got a, uh, a destroyer. Uh, I, I failed to see that. Alright, um... I'm not going to worry about fighting it just yet. I just want to quickly pick up an energy sphere. And we'll see if we can bring this back. This way. I think it's this way. Hang on. Oh no. Uh, let me just leave that. And, uh... Yeah, what I might do is just quickly figure out where we need to go first. Okay, energy sphere socket. Is there a way we can actually just, like, pin that? I'm not entirely sure. I don't think so. Alright. Just got to try and remember where to go. I have no idea if we're going to make it or not, but... There we go. Alright, good stuff. Marksman rockets, okay. Never seen those before. A uh, new sensor, is this any good? Not really. Sort of the same. Might just get rid of that. Yeah, these are... What, two... sorry, one, one, three. And this one is 100. So it's a little bit better than what we had. We could keep it for the time being. Uh, but in actual fact, it might be a good idea just to slot the rockets in right now, because if we're going against this uh, outlaw destroyer, then I think it'll be useful to have. So let's cruise drive our way there. Obviously we just want to make sure that we've still got a little bit of cover to work with. Okay, so... Uh, just trying to get our bearings here. Yep, okay, this is where we were before. So it's sort of moved from that position all the way there. Does it actually swing around to try and take us out, or what's the deal here? We could try and snipe it from here. Yeah, we can definitely do a little bit of damage to it, actually. Which is kind of nice. Try and use our rockets here as well. Yeah, okay. I'm not entirely sure if we're within range for those rockets. Let's just quickly check. Okay, so 1.9k. So this should do it. Very nice.
Okay. Well, there goes that destroyer. Um, you know, one thing that I... If I would sort of call it a criticism of the game, um, I would say that, you know, it doesn't really make sense for a ship uh, at our class level to be able to sort of engage with a destroyer. Um, I guess it really depends on whether or not we've got the right weapons for it, right? Like, you would think that a destroyer class ship would have armor that would be able to withstand, like, small uh, fire from uh, smaller ships like fighters and stuff, but, you know, perhaps maybe we we could take it on if we had, like, specific, like, armor, buster, like, missiles or something like that. Uh, it just seems a little bit too easy to take on capital ships here. Um, but, you know, I'm not really gonna question the, the realism too much. I suppose, uh, the game still has to be a little bit accessible, right? So, because the last thing we want would be to arrive in a place like this and encounter something like that and not be able to have a solution to actually take it out, so... Um, what are we doing here? We are investigating this area just to see if there's anything else hidden away. Um, there's definitely something of interest over there and over there as well. Something that looks like potentially a, a, uh, an outpost of some sort, like a, uh, an outlaw outpost. And this place looks like it could hold some resources. Or perhaps maybe some other secrets. Alright, good stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we've been here. Ah yes, I think we have. That's the, the station uh, where we started the episode, so I might actually just quickly cruise drive towards these outlaws and hopefully that'll take us to their base. Now that it is hopefully semi-clear, we should be able to check out what's going on here. Ah yes, uh, of course, stationary targets. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Okay, you know that orb upgrade that we got from Dr. Delia has actually been really really good because um, now we can actually restore some of our armor as part of picking up those orbs so it's actually really really good because now we might not even have to spend money on repairing the, the armor at all 
uh, if we pick up enough orbs. So just need to make sure that we stop and take a look at where those orbs have dropped. I mean, not all of the enemies drop orbs, but you know, more often than not, they do. Nice. And we are level 12 now, so hopefully some of those tougher enemies out there that we've been dealing with won't be so tough anymore, but I suspect we're going to start seeing level 13s now come up every, any, any minute. <laughs> okay, let's check out what this container has for us. Okay, we've got a couple of resource nodes, perhaps maybe on the other side of the asteroid. Okay. Uh, I think we've done a decent job of looking at the area. I, I suspect there might be a few things hidden away here and there that we haven't exactly seen just yet, but uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm keen on sticking around any longer because uh, I would like to complete a few other side quests and hopefully maybe get uh, the main mission moving a little bit as well. Although. We probably do have to return to Seto and uh, I think return to Prescott Starbase as well to try and complete a few things. Actually there's a, there's a whole bunch of vaults that we also haven't opened, right? So let's take a look here. So twin stations, yeah we, we just need to return. Uh, customs made error. We need to deliver the fragile parcel to DMZ research station at Prescott Starbase again, so this is another one where we just need to return. Data fishing, so we're at level now, we should be able to do this. Uh, and I think that's the only one really available to us uh, right now, uh, aside from Vaultworthy. So go to Yawin Orbit. I don't think that's a place that we've actually been to before, so let's autopilot our way. And uh, let me just quickly take a look here. So Yawin Orbit. Alright, so I don't think there's a vault here, unfortunately. There is a vault right here at Noah Damaris Starport. Uh, would it be better if we just go there first and then go to Yawin Orbit? I think that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Um, there's this, there's Zarkov Border which is just an undiscovered site. We could visit that. Uh, tell you what, let's maybe not worry about the undiscovered sites just yet, because uh, oftentimes they're a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, I think maybe if we go to one of the vaults, hopefully the enemies in the area won't be too much of a challenge. Level 12 and below. If we see the odd level 13, maybe that's okay. Yeah, but we'll, we'll just have to sort of play by ear. Uh, in, in fact, we haven't actually been here before, have we? So let's have a read. A safe haven and home away from home, halfway across the Zarkov supply route. Okay, cool. Not too much there. 
I don't think we're going to be doing any of the uh, random encounters in this episode, guys. Maybe we'll do a few in the next one. I have received All right. a job offer from the local communications office. They are looking for a level-headed person who can help maintain peace in the DMZ. Mm, might be something. Where can I find him? At the docking point of the Damaris Port Authority. All right. Well, it sounds like we've got another side quest to pick up here as well, which is nice. Um, definitely no tough enemies in the area, thank goodness. But yeah, let's start off by checking out what's going on with this vault and, uh, well, firstly we're going to have to find the vault and then we're going to have to figure out uh, how to actually open it as well. A nice looking starport here, but uh, there is a section of it that seems to be a little bit destroyed and mangled, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But uh, anyway. So, there's another... Uh, docking port there as well. I suspect we can probably do some trading and also maybe pick up some work for GNB. Uh, so we're at the point. Now it's just a matter of finding the the vault. Search for the vault in the indicated area. This is it, I think. So let's see if we can Isn't open this. Vaults? The opening mechanism is similar. It's just sitting there asking to be opened. All right. Yeah. So the previous one definitely wasn't as complicated as I thought it was, guys. Uh, we we ended up sort of opening a a different container um, rather than sort of focusing on the actual mission. See what we can find. Drones? Who put those in there? Alright, that wasn't too bad. At least it wasn't just drones. Check out some of these items. Okay, yeah, that's a tad better than what we have. Let's get rid of the old one. Nah, that's not so good. That is an improvement, actually. So let's take that, get rid of the old one. And... Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Maybe I can get rid of... Oh, actually, can we just combine the damage limiters? Um, oh wow, okay, this had been uh, sorry sitting around there for a while, so <laughs> let's get that in there. I'm still going to keep the rapid coil gun there because it does have the best range so far. Um, although our rapid rail gun uh, is actually doing a really good job. And it has more than 3,000 range as well, so... Another one of those signal decoders. Um, this one is probably... Yeah, okay, this one's probably worth something. 60% loot quality, but... Again, as I said, uh, this is something that we... Haven't really been getting into right now. I'm, I'm tempted to get rid of it, but... Maybe I'll get rid of just the ones that have, like, minus loot quality. And maybe we should actually use one of those one of these days. Alright, um... So that's the vault-worthy stuff done. Why don't we, uh... Check on what's going on in some of these spaceports. And... Yeah, maybe we can do some trading and all that sort of stuff.
Okay, nice ship dealer here. Let's have a quick squiz as to what we can buy. That one kind of looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, that looks really, really cool as well. Reaver. Even less armor. A little bit more hull, though. Hmm. I don't really know if I want to spend my money on this just yet. I think we've just bought the ship recently, so perhaps maybe we can leave it. Uh... Yeah, okay, this is just a standard missions from GNB. I, I guess this is just always going to be here, available, in, in case you wanted to make some more pocket money. So we'll ignore those for now. Let's actually sell stuff that we don't want. So do I want system recovery? Probably not. So I'm going to sell that. Uh, everything else, yeah, so we've got some spares here for the damage booster. Um, the sticky turret. I'm curious. I, I would really like to use this actually, so let's just not remove it just yet. Um, we've got some spare nanobots. We've come across quite a few, so I think I'm comfortable in actually selling that. Yeah, okay. And all of the other trading items don't really seem to be fetching uh, a good price right now, so which one has the highest damage here? I think this one does. So let's get rid of some of the other ones here. Actually the Scorpion missiles are actually really cool, so I might actually keep the Scorpion missiles. In fact, I might actually chuck the Scorpion missiles in. Everything else I think we are ready to sell, so... Okay, good stuff. I think we're ready to go. Uh, and we'll check out the next port. Um, so there's that one, and there's this one over here. Zarkov Transit Forum. Interesting. Not entirely sure what we can do here. Potentially this could be like a future place that we might have to dock for a mission or something like that. Yeah, okay, just another shop. Um, yeah, we can do all sorts of trading here, I guess, but we don't exactly need to do that right now, so... Let's leave. And yeah, let's visit this last one, which has a mission for us. So, Damaris Port Authority. Uh, we have actually missed a couple of containers right there. But we'll get to that after this. Hi, is this the communications office? I'm here for the job. Oh, good. Things are crazy today. If you would give me a moment... All right, I need to see your references, and most importantly, your portfolio. My what? Ugh, don't tell me you don't have a portfolio. I need to see if your writing can be straightforward, unbiased, and as diplomatic as it gets. We can't have someone who turns every little outlaw raid into breaking news. I thought you were looking for someone to maintain peace in the DMZ. Oh, don't tell me you're another vigilante. Every cycle, more and more like you pour into the DMZ. Just because this is a former war zone, doesn't mean that they can take matters into their own hands. It is our job to keep them informed on what is actually going on. Educate them about treaties, warn them of solar storms, keep this social experiment called Cluster 34 from descending into chaos. To add insult to injury, we just started to get in reports of Okar randomly attacking convoys and now everyone is losing their minds. That's why we need someone whose pros could curb a tornado, and that is clearly not you. Uh, no, but I could help you find out what is going on with those Okar attacks. Actually, that would be helpful. Alright, I just received a message that another incident is taking place at the Sito Jump Gate. You could start there. I'm on it. 
Thanks. Hey, who put out the piece about the mining cap on Insidium? Those numbers are all wrong. Cluster 34 is a dead man walking, I tell you. Okay, so here we go. A new mission. Uh, we need to go to the Cedo Transit uh, gate, or jump gate, rather. So, right here. But uh, I'm not entirely sure we'll do that today. Uh, I think we might actually go right here to Yawan Orbit to see if we can deal with this data fishing thing. Uh, let's have a read. One begins to pay attention if there is a quiet patch of space in an otherwise dangerous and violent ocean of ambushes and death. Okay, so Yawan Orbit sounds like it is quote unquote uh, semi-peaceful, maybe. But I'm sure we'll manage to find trouble while we're there. Alright, let's just check what's in these two containers and then we'll get going. Thermo gun. Uh, have a look at that. Hmm, okay. Not entirely sure about that, but you can always dismantle it later. Uh, apologies guys if you're see, uh, hearing stuff in the background, it's uh, it's all the uh, the usual hoons around my place. Again, they're out in full force today, causing a lot of noise. Can't I just be left to record videos in peace for once? Um, I know I said that I was about to leave after opening those two containers, but uh, this place just looks too interesting to to just leave behind. And wherever there are mines usually also means that there's probably some loot about. Ooh, or an opening as well. I'd actually quickly check this place out. I think that uh, corrosive cloud is probably just a permanent feature of this place. Sometimes you can actually get rid of it by getting rid of the anemones, but... Protector Sphere Socket. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Protector Sphere. Um, is it the same as just a normal energy sphere? I have no idea. Excuse me, traveler. I'm in need of some assistance. Could I briefly distract you from your busy schedule in order to extricate me from this predicament? Looks like you're stuck. Sure, I can help. Um... There's the... oh actually, sorry, no, that's the socket that we saw before. Uh, still haven't really seen Protector Spheres. But uh, let's not worry about that for now. What's going on here? Where is he? Alright. Uh, let's I grab him. Intervention tremendously. Could I request passage to the nearest base? Let me just get you out of here. So what happened here? Alas, a typical story. Beset by scoundrels. Alright. Um, 
Sounds like he probably got ambushed or something like that. I do like the design of his ship though. I, I really wish that we can actually buy a ship that looks like that because that is a cool ship. If I just let him go for a second. I have to drop you off here, I'm afraid. I mean, that looks really cool. Alright. Uh, let's get him to maybe Zarkov Transit for him. I wonder if it matters where we drop him off at, but uh, I suppose it probably doesn't really. Say nothing of it. I like the bogus. Alright, uh, what do we get there? So, more sticky turrets, actually. So, that actually now seems a little bit more viable. Uh, maybe I'll switch out the damage limiter, actually, with the sticky turrets, and we'll try and use those whenever we can. Uh, I wonder if... No, okay. So... Four is the maximum. Uh, not entirely sure what else we actually picked up there. It might have been like components and stuff. But uh, anyway, there was another container over there. So let's quickly check that out. And yeah, this place, uh, there's definitely some kind of mystery here. Problem is, I, I just don't know how to solve it. Not yet, anyway. that up and yeah I'm curious so I'm gonna go back there and uh, maybe I'm gonna just take another quick peek a little bit careless there okay so that's the slot So where is the actual generator though? Or I wonder if the generator might be outside somewhere. I was hoping that perhaps maybe that guy had something to do with what's going on here, but doesn't seem like it. And his name seemed to uh, indicate Flighty. Now I'm not entirely sure if that is like a a character that we'll get to interact with a little bit more throughout the game, but yeah, remains to be seen. So, not seeing anything here. Might actually just quickly scan the outside from this side. So there's a little bit more wreckage over here. I wonder if we might be able to find something of use. Is that section from here? Is that is that just like a broken off piece of the station? It could be. If that's the case, we might find the actual uh, sphere generator in one of these sections, potentially. Let's uh, check out that armor piece there. Um, nah, okay. about the other side. There we go. 
Uh, before I go grab it though, I just want to quickly fly past and see if there's anything else in here. It definitely feels like there could be stuff back here, but anyway. Now trouble is, can we actually get there in time? Because there's a lot to actually navigate. Hopefully this will last for a while. Okay, that's going to be definitely a bit of a challenge. I'm sure we'll be able to do it though. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happens here, guys. Um, this definitely looks a little bit different, though. It doesn't just say pre uh, energy sphere socket. It says protector sphere socket. So that would imply that it could be that we're looking for something else completely. Um, alright, well, I don't think I'm going to hang around too much longer, uh, in fact I'm, I'm actually going to jump out now, we'll have to solve that problem a little bit later on, I mean that's not the first time that we've had to leave something like that though, we've also got the, uh, the energy sphere puzzle that's going on at Prescott Starbase as well, which we haven't resolved, but uh, anyway, let's get ourselves to Yawan Orbit. And from there, uh, hopefully, we can try and resolve this uh, this data side quest. It is a level 12. I'm a little bit worried, and uh, you know we haven't exactly fought any enemies since we got to level 12 ourselves. So um, who knows? We we could be facing off against some level 13s when we get there. Agent promised a handsome reward if you steal all data from the outlaws in the area. I have pinpointed the first terminal you may want to hack. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, plenty of level 12 outlaws here. There's a few Okar in the area. I wonder if they'd give us a hand, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's do what we need to do. Yeah, this weapon is actually really nice. I like having a lot of range, actually, even if it doesn't do too much damage. Uh, just being able to whittle down the enemy from afar is very useful.
Gotta be a bit careful here because uh, just realized we don't really have a lot of armor going on. Probably took quite a bit of damage with that corrosion from the previous area. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a very large uh, outlaw outpost, isn't it? So, we've got a power core here. Uh, we've got a couple of power sockets. So, I'm missing one more power core, but surely it'll be in this area somewhere. Um, what's that? Okay, another power core over there. Good stuff. Let's uh, see if we can retrieve this power core right here. Okay, so the battle music has sort of changed a little bit. I'm guessing there might be a capital ship somewhere. Okay, let's grab the second one here. And uh, while we're at it, I think there's some stuff that we can blow up somewhere here. There we go. Good stuff. Let's grab this. Cruise booster. Nice. Okay, this is actually uh, a blue rarity one, which is quite nice. Too bad the stats are trash. <laughs> so, we're going to get rid of this, I think. Um, and this beam laser, I think we'll probably get rid of as well, to be honest. It's probably just clogging up our inventory. Okay. Let's hack this terminal, see what happens next. Initiating hacking sequence. You will need to remain close to the terminal until the firewall is broken. Got it. Oh, goodness me. Alright. 
just quickly load our next, or sorry, our closest checkpoint. I think this is what, our second death? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think here. How far can we yeah, be? The freelancer agent promised a handsome reward if you steal all data from the outlaws in the area. I have pinpointed the first terminal you may want to hack. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, guys, I'm not entirely sure how far away we can be from the actual terminal when we do start hacking it, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a mystery, but... There we go. See if we can clear up the area once more. Um, yeah, definitely want to get all the stuff in that container. So we're going to have to get those power cores once more. Uh, where are those turrets? Okay, I don't really see those turrets, but that's okay. When they spawn, or when they appear on the radar, we'll deal with them. Let's try and deal with the, uh, the power cores here. Okay, that's one, and let's grab the next one. Okay, something's probably locked onto us. Let's just quickly see if we can find what that thing was. Hmm, okay, don't see it anymore. Okay, let's just uh, clear a few things here. So, as I said, we probably don't need these two. Okay, let's start the hack, and yeah, we're just gonna need to get a little bit better at uh, dealing. Sequence. You will need to remain close to the terminal until the firewall is broken. Got it. Okay. 
got our uh, our little turrets working for us as well, which is nice. Nice. Yeah, it's not too often we get a mission where we have to sort of defend an area. I managed to breach the fire. Commencing down. It is done. If only the hacking part would be this fast. I have added the location of the next terminal to your display. Okay, that was a bit sweaty, not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> Our turrets are still going, though. That's actually pretty good. Um, I was sort of wondering how long they lasted, but... Let's see if we can still take out some of the remaining enemies here. Alright, so those turrets have actually been really, really good. Uh, I might actually see if we can do, like, one turret for the next one, just so that we don't sort of run out of turrets. So I think we should be able to defend ourselves a little bit, plus the turret. And that should do us uh, some good. Uh, just trying to find where our, our two turrets were. Calibrated Prime Zapper. Okay, that's... Uh, is that good? Let's take a look. So this one is 230 energy DPS. Uh, 1800 range. It's better energy DPS, but... Not so great on the range. Minus 100 on the range. Probably not a bad idea, because the railgun is what we'll, we'll be using primarily for engaging at a distance anyway. Uh, not as good for the weapons, but good for shields and boost. Probably get rid of it, actually. Uh, just backtracking for a moment, guys, because I think there's probably some stuff around here which we haven't really picked up from all the engagements that we had, so let's just quickly pick stuff up and then um, we'll head back there and continue to try and find some more terminals. Okay, not bad. Yep, 
yeah, there's just so much stuff hidden away everywhere, and uh, haven't really counted all of the things that we can also destroy in the area as well. Like, there's plenty of these uh, explosive barrel type things. Uh, and then there's a container over there. I'll quickly grab that. Uh, nothing else going on here, I don't think. Any explosive barrels? Doesn't look like it. Alright. So, I think we've looted everything here. It's probably a good time to make our way to the next uh, terminal. I'm not entirely sure which way we should go to try and get to it. There's some more containers over here as well. And uh, yeah, there's all the Link drones here and what I assume is some kind of capital ship. Uh, we have already aggroed them, so I think we're probably going to end the episode by just quickly taking these guys out. Nice shot. Just quickly evading, because we don't have any more shields. Uh, I'm also just going to quickly switch out our weapons for a second here. See if we can use some of our marksman rockets. of hostiles. Okay, I had no idea that there was an entire base over there. So that's also a bit of a problem. This might be a tiny bit of a longer episode, guys. Because uh, <laughs> I was not expecting all of this stuff to be here. I think this capital ship probably spawns all these drones constantly as well, so just got to keep that in mind. nice and plenty of orbs as well which is really really good because uh, <laughs> now we won't have to try and repair our hulls or uh, our armor at the very least okay so there's plenty of stuff down there uh, and I think there's probably uh, sorry sorry a few turrets down there as well which uh, is going to be a bit of a problem uh, then the objective is all the way that way, but uh, obviously we're going to stop to try and loot stuff first. But I think this is a perfect place to call this episode, guys, and uh, I'll take a break. And we'll come back and continue where we left off with this data fishing. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.